Quite some time ago, we had the opportunity to test the crap out of Cooler Master's Mobius 120, a relatively interesting fan. Not the best on our charts, certainly not, but overall a great performer and the quality was where we expected it to be. But Cooler Master wasn't done with this fan. Meet the steroid-induced version of the already steroid-induced 120P, the Mobius 120OC, now spinning at up to 3200 RPM while it's pushing 88.1 CFM at up to 4.75 mm of H2O. This thing is not for the easy jobs. From far it might look like it's the same, of course we have different fan speeds and pushing terrifying amounts of air, but roughly the same fan. Same blue ring around the fan blades, same blue corners, it looks like kind of the same thing. At least we believed so up until after the benchmarks were done and we had an older regular Mobius lying right next to it. It is not the same fan. Similar color scheme, yes, but not the same fan. The corners, for example, yes, they are still dark blue, but instead of just being a piece of plastic with some rubber pads glued on top, we now have full rubberized corners which are detachable. No idea why you would do this, but you can. So, okay. And this immediately reminded me of another one of Cooler Master's fans, the SF120 MARGB. But this isn't where the changes stopped. Take a closer look at the fan wing design. Instead of the 7 wing design we had before, Cooler Master made them thinner and added 2 to get to this 9 fan wing design, which is definitely not something everybody does nowadays the moment they get into high performance fan design. Plus the hole to see the shaft, because you need that hole. That hole adds performance. Let's also give Cooler Master some credit where credit is due. Like many other high performance fans, the Mobius 120OC comes with a speed limitation to allow you to limit the fan's overall max speed outside of software. This will give you two things, more accurate settings if you want to get to the or to a very specific low RPM and it eliminates the possibility for fan ramp up during boot, which may lead to your mom waking up and then spanking the crap out of you. In the past, these types of limiters were... Yeah, they, the positioning of the switch was stupid on a whole other level. And Cooler Master is really not innocent here. But for the Mobius OC, this is new and it's good. Attached to the 25 cm long PVM cable that powers the fan, we have another cable. And on the end of that cable, we have a switch with three dots indicating what you are setting the fan to. And you can decouple them or not, you can reposition the switch and you have a zip tie keeping the two together and everything is nicely sleeved. This is a good solution, no jokes aside. This is a good solution to the speed limiter problem. This is doable for everybody, it is not dangerous at all, I like it, it is just good job Cooler Master. This is one of the ways that you should do it. Though the cables are too short, 25 centimeters is just not enough for, for front fans. Make both of them longer. But while we are at it, let's talk about that speed switch. Cooler Master looks at this thing very differently. When you start limiting the speed when it's in the big dot mode, you won't get as low as you might expect. By spec, Cooler Master says that the speed dial allows you to limit the whole fan to 1500, 2400 or 3200 RPM. Big dot meaning 3200 and then going down from there. However, what they also say is that you can go down to zero in every mode. Set the PVM signal accordingly and there you are. But there seems to be some random issue with all three of the Mobius fans that I have here. Not in terms of max speed, but in terms of how low we were able to push these. For both the 32 and 2400 RPM mode, the numbers were somewhat accurate. 3154 RPM in max and 2389 RPM in mid mode. Sure, given the 10% PVM range, that, that is always there and it is fine. But the high performance mode could only be pushed down to 1700 RPM and the mid mode only to 1500 RPM. 
or 1711 and 1503 to be exact. And that was at 30% fan speed. Once we get to exactly 25, the zero RPM mode kicks in and the fan just stops spinning. And this is not some sort of system issue. I am benchmarking multiple fans one after the other and none of them had the issue. Neither did the Mobius 140p ARGB that I tested just before those 120OCs. They did not have the problem, it's only these here. There is just some sort of issue with that speed control and I was just unable to figure out what's going on. Every fan works fine, both PVM and voltage controlled mode on the BIOS, no clue what's going on, I wasn't able to push this any lower than that. Please keep this in mind for later on because it's going to be very important. But first, let's take a look at the benchmarks. First up is our case almost heatsink benchmark. For this we strap three of these bad boys into our Fantex P500A, two in the front and one in the back without using a fan on the cooler in order to inflate the numbers. Allowing all three Mobius fans to spin at their max rated 3200 RPM, push them up on our benchmark list, just in front of the Arctic P12 Max, which funnily enough has a very similar design. At 37.6 degrees C above ambient, the Mobius 120OC are amongst the very best fans we have tested so far, max performance wise. To determine how well they perform all across the board, we lowered the fan speed step by step and wrote down the noise level they yelled at and created a nice noise to performance graph. Yikes. Although the Cooler Master Mobius 120OC are amongst the very best fans we have seen so far, they are, or max performance wise, they are behind a bunch of fans when it comes to Noise 2 performance. Even their own Mobius 120P ARGB counterparts seems like the new wing design did not do any good to them. As I said before, I was not able to get the fans any lower than 1700 RPM in, in that high speed mode. So instead of just testing the highest performance mode, which usually gives me the ability to test the full range, I retested the whole thing with the other two modes because who knows, maybe below 1700 RPM it will be the best noise to performance ratio I have ever seen. Well, no, it, it's not. But hey, in, in the very least, I was able to verify that my dB meter is working fine and that the whole thing plus minus margin of error does make a lot of sense because it's the same fan, it's just different speed modes and yeah, my graph works, but the fan doesn't. As mentioned in every other Mobius fan series review, Cooler Master does something to the fans to change the tone at which the fans are whining. In the past, or for all three other sets that we've got, there was something good, or at least it did not make them weird. Uh, for these here, however, something very odd happened. I could, I could literally hear how they got louder with reduced fan speed. This effect came in going from 80 to 70 percent and I think from 50 to 40 but what actually happens is that it is not really getting louder, the tone is changing and me being me having done what I have done to myself having 5000 watts worth of RMS in the trunk of my car, I don't have the best hearing anymore but my dB meter does. So what I perceived as being louder is not actually being louder, but the frequency shifting into a range that I can perceive better than the one before. And you know who else perceives that range better? My dB meter. Resulting in very weird results. Normally testing the noise of a fan with a radiator, in, in this case, takes like 5 minutes. Set a speed, I measure the distance, the angle, write down the number, rinse and repeat 9 times and I'm done. But for these here, I needed to do it again and again and again. Adjust the angle, wait for 
literally minutes until whatever happens to my to my db meter stopped like it just jumped up like 10 dbs for a minute and then it jumped down again just nothing made sense so in order to come up with reproducible decibel numbers it took ages and i'm not even sure if they are correct i used everything to the best of my knowledge but this is just weird because in my opinion or in my perception this is offset by at least three or two or three dbs so please take all of these measurements with a grain of salt this time because until now i could take whatever fan i wanted out of out of the shelf and i could get the exact same numbers within a couple of seconds but not for these here whatever happens here I haven't seen that before. Plus, and that's just weird, the absolute acoustic section that Cooler Master claimed to have done on every Mobius fan is not present on the OC model. So maybe they just did not do whatever they have been doing in the past and that's the cause for that. I don't know, but stuff is just so weird with those here. Anyway, for our radiator specific benchmarks, we use the Octopus, a machine equipped with a 4.8 GHz all core 185 watt strong 9900K in combination with multiple radiators with a variety of thicknesses and FPIs. From there, we measure the water temperature after it exits the radiator and subtract the ambient air temperature giving us the temperature of the water above ambient. After starting the fan at 100% fan speed, we reduce the speed in 10% decrements and measure the noise emitted by the fan on top of a radiator from a 1 meter distance giving us a nice noise to performance curve to which we will get later on. For the Mobius 120OC we will focus on the 60mm thick 10 FPI radiator only. Letting the Mobius run wild allowed the water to be cooled down to 9.5 degrees C above ambient. This puts it quite significantly in front of the Nokia NF8 Rebex 25, but also quite significantly behind other crazy fast 3000 RPM fans, not even mentioning the Mobius spins 200 RPM quicker than the other ones. On the noise to performance side, we will see roughly the same thing we did before. From start to finish, the Mobius OC performed significantly louder than it should have been and even ending up a tick louder than the T30 at max speed while the T30 is slower and is keeping the water colder. The only contestant it was able to outperform from 30 to 80% of its speed was the Iceberg Thermal Ice Scale Extra, a fan that is literally slapping the air as it moves. So no, just like the case benchmarks, because we do the noise measurements differently and in another place, this may or may not be true, but I'm unable to verify it because all of my dB meters go crazy with these fans. So overall, let's just be honest here, max performance wise, these are great fans. I just can't say anything about the whole noise thing. All noise to performance ratios look significantly louder than they should, or at least compared to my own perception of things while sitting in front of them. Sure, you could argue that it's because of the dual ball bearing, something that every previous Mobius fan did not have. Maybe it's that, maybe not. But despite that little bearing downgrade, we also got an upgrade, or a couple of upgrades, like for example the full rubber corners. We just arrived at premium level quality, plus don't forget about that hole, because that hole. No, jokes aside, it does perform very well, like max performance wise. The bump in performance going from regular to OC is quite impressive. The speed switch is the way it should be done from now on. Just make it work and make it longer, please. Other than that, it's still a Cooler Master fan, so Cooler Master level of packaging and additionally to the usual fan screws, you also get these rubber mountings to attach them to cases, which you may or may not like. But hey, at least lifetime warranty, which, which is great. So to get or not to get, performance wise, why the hell not? Not the best, but up there. But I still just don't feel like recommending them, because I don't want to go off my own perception. I want to have actual numbers, verifiable numbers, and I just can't get them. Maybe I will be able to do that one day in the future with one of these 3000 euro class 1 dB meters. But until then, maybe somebody else has done a review with one of those. 
but not me, not today. Anyway, I think this should be all for Cooler Master and their Mobius 120OC. At this point, a huge thank you to Cooler Master for sending them over. On a side note, we also have a Discord server, so if you want to join, the link is down below. And of course, we still have channel memberships, so if you're looking for a good way to sell your store for an RG poop emoji, that's a pretty good way to go. Additionally, you can rest assured that the income will not only keep the channel afloat, but it will also serve to get a class 1 dB meter, because those things are hella expensive and I think, or I, I know we need one. Anyway, thank you for watching and if you want to continue, have a look at our take on the Mobius 120. If you haven't done that before, because that one does not do weird stuff with my dB meters. It's not the same fan, but it doesn't do weird stuff. Hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye.